haven't subscribed to my channel yet, like what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button right now. Cause I mean like, why not? What is there to lose? But there's a lot to gain. So it is another video for me and I finally got some new things. I'm just so excited for you guys to see videos that are coming up. I'm excited to see them as well. At the beginning of this year, I decided that I wanted to practice my makeup some more and I wanted to like try to better my skills in makeup. So I thought a great idea of how I could do that would be to like recreate looks that other more talented YouTubers or makeup artists have done. So today's video is going to be a recreate the look. One of the first makeup looks that I thought was so pretty I got home and was like looking on Instagram was this one by this chick. Her name on Instagram is Nancy Aguilera. I don't think she has a YouTube channel, but I'll put her um, at name like right here somewhere. The way I chose who I wanted to recreate this particular look with is because I saw her picture on the Morphe Brushes page and I automatically recognized one of the eyeshadows that she had on her eyes as one that was in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And when I read the description, obviously she used the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I was like, I just got the Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't know what exact color she used. I'm just like doing my recreation based off what I think she used and I just did my best. Like I am not a professional. Like I said, this is only practice and I hope I did it a little bit of justice. It's gonna be a fun little chapter and it's gonna be a learning experience for me and hopefully you guys will tag along and learn some things too. Yeah, so I'm just gonna like stop talking now. There was just like a lot to say. Yeah, just enjoy the video and don't forget to like and subscribe. So, notice anything different guys? What is it? What is it? What could it be? I finally bought some new layers. It's beautiful. So well lit. I am not going to be showing a full face tutorial today. If you want to see how I do my makeup, I posted a long wear makeup routine. So if you want to see that, you can just go check it out right now. Meanwhile, you're liking and subscribing to my channel. <laughs> So I'm just gonna like do a quick read through of everything that I do. Alright, we have phone, I'm not sure. So I am finally finished with my base. That's the makeup look I'm gonna be trying to recreate tonight. The sun keeps going in and out and it's just so bright. When I didn't have lighting, best believe the sun came out once a year. I'm gonna be using the new chocolate hill palette. So excited for this palette. I am in love with all the colors on here. And there's just like so much variety. I'm obsessed. I think I'm gonna highlight my brow bone first. Do you guys see how the sun is just like clean right now? Ridiculous. This may be a fill video, but we're just gonna hope for the best. So for her brow bone, she used a really light color. I'm gonna use this color for my brow bone. For my heating, I'm sorry. But there's just like nothing I can do about it. I'd rather have my heating than be cold. And it's pretty cold outside today. And this wind will not leave New York City alone. Just anything. I'm going outside later and I'm just not looking forward to it. But whatever. I'll live. So the next color I see her use is like an orangey color. But I want to give myself something to blend that orange into. So I'm going to use this yellow shade right here. And I'm just going to use that in and above my crease on a big flip. Fluffy blending brush. I just love that she puts such pigmented colors in the palette because when you're dark skin, it's just so hard to make certain colors show up on your skin tone without like packing on some really light concealer for like setting your eyes really like So I put my best friend onto the Snapple Mango Tea. If you drink this and you like it, let me know because she said she didn't like it and I just think it's so good and I hate the tea flavors and Snapple so I don't know. It has like a crazy aftertaste kind of but it's just like not that bad. Like, I don't know. It's just like... So now with that same blending brush I'm going to take up an orangey color so I think I'm going to go with the lightest orange which is like this one so I'm just going to blend that also into my crease and a little bit above it but just not as high as the first shade if you want it to be like a great thing. To the other one. 
and I'm not gonna drag the color out because liquid doesn't want she drags the color out though. I'm just gonna keep it real at the edge of my eye and not like out. If that makes sense. It probably does. And I'm also using a really light hand with this because I don't know, I just want it to like blend in seamlessly. So I'm literally having a battle with the sun right now. But anyway, hopefully this cloud stays long enough. And it's supposed to be cloudy today. So I don't know what is the deal. So now we're going to get into the darker shade. I'm going to start off with this brown right here. And I'm just going to blend it into my crease with a smaller blending brush. So I'm just like, taking it a little bit at a time and like building it. I got some cookies here. Jaw drying. It's really good. The lemon one is better though. Funny story. I actually went to the store looking for the lemon. I'm looking for the strawberry one. And I ended up with the lemon one. And now I'm like obsessed with the lemon one. You know, sometimes you go in the store for fresh strawberries and life gives you lemon instead. And sometimes you turn out like you know lemon's better than strawberry. I'm gonna take some of my LA Girl Concealer and I'm just gonna try my best to do this cut crease. Her cut crease is so perfect. I'm like, ah, oh, I could even do this. I'm gonna try to do it with this. Maybe I can get it a little bit rounder. Cause you're supposed to do it with a round flat brush anyway. And this is like a concealer brush. Now even harder. We can match the other one. Okay, come on. I can do this. Okay, so I think that came out pretty well. And the tone that I recognized automatically on her eyes, I think was on her eyes, was Hustle. We have the names here. But also I see that she has like a really goldy tone. I feel like that goldy tone is closest to the color Queen. So I'm just going to put the color Queen and then I'm going to add some of Hustle and Obsessed on top in the center to like try to get what she got. So I'm just going to pick up Queen, which is this shadow right here. And I'm going to put that all over where I just concealed. I just like spray some of the e.l.f. Miss and set and then I just dip my brush in the wetness and then dip it into my palette. So going back into the original brown shade that I used, I'm just going to take it up on an eyebrow brush. It's really gross, I don't use this one anymore. Well, the spoolie. And when I'm going to use this brush, I'm just going to go over where the crease stops. So she most definitely has like the lighter brown, well I think the lighter brown, blended on the inner crease, I mean the inner tear duct-ish place and the outer. So I'm just going to use this pencil brush and I'm going to blend the lighter brown shade here and in here. Okay, I don't want to bring it too far in, but she most definitely just like a corner of her eye. So I feel like the main part is done. So now I'm going to go over the gold part with this color right here, which is Hustle. I'm going to apply Obsessed all over on top of the gold. So lastly, now I'm going to go in with the color Obsessed. I'm going to put that mostly like on the center. I think I achieved that color pretty well, at least. So now I'm going to go into the outer part of my eye with the darker shade of brown. And I'm going to put that on my outer V. But whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to touch up the inner corner. So now I'm going to add some lashes. I feel like this is the best I'm going to get at on top of the eye. But um, yeah, I'm going to add some lashes and, you know, I'm doing that. Before I apply my lashes, I'm going to use a little bit of this X Kitten Liner by Tarte. And I'm just going to line my eyes very thinly. The kitten up there. Oh, sweet. Okay. So I'm back with lashes on and everything. 
I'm gonna finish up my eyes and finish this look. So for my inner corner of my eyes, I'm gonna be using the same champagne color we used in the beginning, which is that one right here. That is just called Beam. And put that in my inner corner. Amazing. So yeah, it's a smoky eye, so she definitely has some form of black liner in here. So I'm going to use my Bold Eyeliner by NK, and I'm just going to line my bottom waterline. That looks so much better, especially with this dramatic lash. And I really can't see that she smoked out her bottom lash line, but I'm just going to do it a little bit since it's a smoky eye. So I'm going to take the lighter brown shade and I'm just going to swoop it very lightly and very close to the lash line. And I'm only going to like drag it to like half the eye. She also has really nice bottom eyelashes but yeah I can't just like make those grow on the spot. I mean I could put some fake lashes down there. I always want to try wearing fake lashes on my bottom lash line but I just never, I've never done it yet. I mean maybe in a couple of videos, I don't know. But I'm just going to use the same mascara which is also great for your bottom lash line by the way. That's like what I used it for originally. I'm just going to apply it heavily, as heavily as I possibly can. That looking crazy. For blush, we know what I'm gonna use by now because I always use the same exact thing. So I'm gonna whip out my blush neutrals palette by BH Cosmetics. And I'm gonna use the first blush shade today, actually. Maybe I'll mix it with the second one. The second one is just so bright and pretty. I just love that one, but I think I'm gonna use this second one today. Per Cosmetics just came out with a nice blush palette. I just think it's so pretty. Gonna go back to the all days with my favorite highlighter and I haven't used this in so long but it's still my favorite highlighter. It's just gorgeous. And that is the True Complexions Contour Palette Highlight right here. I'm gonna take some of that. I love using like circular, small circle motions. Who climb my highlight? I'm just give it the best color payoff. And now for the final touch of this look, she has on like a nudie look, and I can wear nudie looks, but I can't wear nudie looks without wearing it first because that just doesn't work for my skin tone. So you gotta make it work for your skin tone. Like I can't just recreate this look and just like make it look like hers, but not you know make it work for me. So as usual, I'm gonna go in and line my lips with my NYX with my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner and the lip pencil. This is also in color Club Pop, which now I'm going to go into my collection of color Pop matte lipsticks. And I'm going to use this color in Buffy. Seems closest to what she's wearing. I want my highlight to pop a little bit more, so I'm going to do exactly what I did with that brush. And I'm just going to spray some of this e.l.f. Mist and set onto my table. And I'm just going to dip my brush in. One more thing that I want to do is I've been gaining subscribers lately and one thing when I was like younger, when I first got like addicted to YouTube and I used to watch YouTube videos, from what I remember anyway, a lot of YouTubers used to like shout out their new subscribers and I literally every time I get a new subscriber, I'm like, thank you, whatever the person's name is in my mind I'm like I can just like shout you guys out in my videos so like thank you to the people who have subscribed since my last video not every single one of the subscribers names come up and I just want to thank Danielle Claire she's also a youtuber so I mean like why not go check her out but hey to my home Tevin lastly is Chloe Chapman I just want to say thank you guys for subscribing and it means so much to me and it always will.